so what's interesting about smart eyewear is you need a full dual competency in both eyewear and in Bluetooth audio technology. Uh, for at least our type of smart eyewear. So we have a team that has a combination of eyewear experts and uh, traditional engineering um, and, and electronics marketing, sports apparel marketing, and uh, eyewear sales. So it's it's really a combination of those two major skill sets. We have to be able to make eyewear perfectly. And we have to be able to make audio devices perfectly. Put the two together and you get lucid eyewear. Um, so we have a very diverse team, a lot of different backgrounds that come together to make this product possible. Um, so we have uh, we have a really a new rock star sales team that we hired in the last few months. Our new SVP sales, uh, Kane Ofadil, uh, built actually single handedly uh, built the international business for the New Balance, a sneaker company. He also worked with uh, a couple of leading eyewear brands as well, and he's very experienced in building out uh, international sales pipelines uh, for exciting consumer products. In addition, we have the uh, ex Luxottica optical industry heavyweight uh, Jan Corey who spent 12 years working directly under the former CEO of Luxottica, who uh, passed away recently, uh, and building out their U the U.S. business for Luxottica. Um, and we also have uh, some very experienced uh, web developers and uh, electrical engineers and really uh, a group of very smart people, a small group of people, but uh, a very strong group nonetheless is making this product possible. Now, what, where Tech Capital came in is, you know, Tech Capital had has this ability to really uh, find and discover very exciting new innovations and help bring them to market. And uh, that was sort of the genesis uh, of Lucid was we had these very exciting eyewear innovations that we had acquired from UCF and uh, we wanted to bring them to market and, and make them turn them into an accessible product that actually improves quality of life for people. Mm -hmm. um, so th that Tech Capital's um, investment thesis of, you know, turning unique university innovations into quality of life improving products was really central to the genesis of our company and also to our mission of really delivering like serious value to the consumer uh, and really giving them a pair of glasses that is more is a more ergonomic way to access information. Um, it is, is a product that can really help you get off the couch and go out and enjoy outdoor activities. Uh, and is really just a general companion for anyone that uh, that needs to access information all day long uh, through voice assistance. Uh, you're able to do that on our glasses. So it's also really benefited a lot of people that have different work scenarios where they can't listen to headphones, they would really like to enjoy a podcast while they're working. You know, our glasses enable them to discreetly listen to audio content and still be connected uh, to the people that are that are around them and still be able to carry out a conversation with the open ear audio of our glasses. So we have on our hands a product that genuinely improves quality of life for people. And I think that can really be traced back to um, tech Capital's whole thesis and how they approach uh, uh, bringing products to market. Yeah, you guys definitely synergize a lot with what Tech Capital's vision is is overall. And I guess to wrap us up, so talk to me about the state of the union currently, some of the recent developments you guys have had. And um, from there, also tell me what you can share about what's in store for 2023. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, the big development that many people listening are probably aware of is that we recently acquired a multi-year global license to the Nautica brand. Um, so this is going to do something very interesting, and this is going to allow us to create uh, essentially the first fashion branded smart eyewear. Um, and fashion branding is very important in eyewear. It's really what helped it become go from a medical device to a fashion accessory that people spend a whole lot more on and buy more frequently um, than they would a regular medical device. Um, so adding that fashion element, that designer element to our frames uh, really takes is going to take it to another level and make it, in our view, a more desirable product. Uh, so we're not stopping there. We're planning on acquiring additional brands in other verticals, like in the sporting goods space and, and maybe in the golfing space as well, and a few others. Uh, and we're really going to try to build out Lucid as a house of smart eyewear brands, uh, and very uh, analogous to the way that Luxottica became a house of traditional eyewear brands, and that made them very successful. Uh, we think that by diversifying our product offering, we'll be able to reach a wider consumer base uh, by offering our glasses essentially with a bunch of different uh, attractive, well-known fashion brands on top. Uh, so that's something that's very that we're very excited about. And it's speaking to a larger trend of fashion and technology coming together in a number of different products. Uh, and that's something that we're really seeing. Uh, our eyewear is a great example of that, but 
uh, there are other fashion products that are now becoming infused with technology uh, as consumers are looking for more and more wearable functionality out of everything that they use, not just their watch or their, their phone, uh, but everything. Like, for example, there's like a, a Levi's smart jacket that Bluetooths to your phone and has a number of uh, utilities like, you know, recording your body temperature and other things like that. So there's all sorts of new products coming out where fashion and technology are really becoming intertwined uh, to deliver a unique branded experience to consumers uh, that offer both fashion and functionality in one package, basically. Yeah, yeah. The, the future is kind of bright in that regard. And I'm real curious to hear more about this as more things come along the wire. But Harrison, mm -hmm. thank you for coming on and giving us a really solid introduction. If anyone has yeah, any absolutely. other questions, please, yeah, don't be afraid to reach out. But for now, Harrison, thank you so much again for your time and please have a wonderful day. All right, take care. Bye.